welcome to the Museum of the Illusion. I'm Dr. Jenny Hatfield. And I'm Megan Dean. And welcome to Know Your Moda! Middens can tell us a lot about what people ate in the past. Middens are basically kitchen trash. Can you guess what animal this rib is from? A. Sea lion. B. Mussel. C. Pacific cod. D. Harlequin duck. Time to guess! Nope, it's not Harlequin duck. It's not Pacific cod. It's not mussel. If you guess sea lion, you are correct. We can tell that this rib from a sea lion is from a very young sea lion because we have this part, which is still cracked because it did not fuse, and this little part is missing a bone at the end. When we grow old, these ends fuse and become rigid. When we're young, they're left open so we can grow long. We are here in the collections room. Are you guys ready for the next question? These artifacts sometimes look like hot dog buns and are used for what purpose? A. Hammer B. Anchor C. Net sinker or line weight D. Hair clip Time to guess! Nope, it's not hammer it's not anchor, and it's not hair clip. If you guess net sinker or line weight, you are correct. All of these net sinkers are from the Imagnac Bridge site, a very interesting archeological site that dates from 2,500 to 3,500 years ago. People in the past would put a line around this grooved part. They etched this with some other kind of tool, probably another stone tool, put a line around it, and then would attach it to a fishing line or a net and weight that down to capture their fish. After a long day of fishing, the Anungan people went back to their warm, durable homes that are partially dug into the ground. Do you know where the door is? A, in the floor, B, in the east wall, C, in the side wall, D, in the roof. Time to guess. Nope, not the floor. Nope, not east wall. Not side wall either. It's in the roof. If you see, you can see this entrance here at the top with a wooden ladder that was probably driftwood that they etched with steps. They used that to go in and out. It also worked as a vent for their heating and cooking. The USS Bear is one of the most famous ships in the Coast Guard history. She was used for A, delivering mail, B, as a floating hospital, C, as a floating courthouse, D, to transport reindeer, or E, all of the above. Time to guess! If you guessed A, delivering mail, you're right! If you guessed B, as a floating hospital, you're also right! If you guessed C, a floating courthouse, you're right! And D, transporting reindeer, is also right! So if you guessed E, you are also right. All of the above are correct. The USS Bear was one of the most famous ships because she was very versatile and used for a variety of missions around the country. This raincoat, also known as a chigda or kemlaika, is made from what? A. Grass B. Gut skin C. Paper D. Plastic Time to guess! If you guess plastic, you're wrong. Nope, it's not paper. Nope, not grass. If you guess gut skin, you are correct. People would use the esophagus and stomach of the seals and sea lions that they hunted for food and for the bones that they made tools from. They also used these internal organs to make a variety of tools that include rain gear and the rain gear was really adaptive they could make it into a small pouch and carry it wherever they went and then of course when it rained which is often in the illusion they would be able to still operate out in the weather staying safe and dry these water vessels are used by anungan for hunting and fishing their anungan name is a kayak b badarka c ikyak or d canoe Time to guess! If you guessed kayak, you're wrong. Nope, it's not Vidarka. Nope, not canoe. If you guessed Ikyak, you are correct. The Ikyaks were very finely made water vessels that were made out of the driftwood that they found and then covered with seal or sea lion hides. This tool was used by hunters. What is it called? A. Bow and arrow. B. Cutting board. C. Throwing board. D. Fishing rod. Time to guess! Nope, it's not a fishing rod, and it's not a cutting board, not a bow and arrow. C, throwing board is correct. They would use this with a harpoon. They would place this in on the pin of the throwing board and use it to 
extend their reach with the harpoon. With the throwing board and the harpoon, they could hunt very large sea mammals like whales, as well as seals and sea lions. The museum's collections also include photographs. These photos, taken in the 1800s, show fur seals that are commonly found on the Pribilof Islands. Do you know where you can see them closer to Unalaska? Hint, there's a volcano that erupted recently there. Is it A, Bogoslav, B, Atu, C, Kona, or is it D, Unimac? Time to guess. If you guess B, Atu, that is incorrect. Kona, C, is also incorrect, and nope, it's not Unimac. If you guessed A, Bogoslav, you're right. We get multiple donations of photographs each year, usually in photo albums like this one. These photos are important to our mission to collect, preserve, and share the rich cultural legacy of the Aleutian Islands. We're working on digitizing our photograph collections for people to be able to view them online. Thanks for playing. Know your mo.